After playing the finals almost every day since its release and trying out everything the game has to offer, I believe I have found the best loadouts for every build in the final. Of course, this isn't set in stone as everybody plays a little bit different. But these will be some important pointers to help build your own contestants that suit your playstyle. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and without wasting any time, heading straight into the light build. For specializations, the best pick has to be the cloaking device. You go invisible and in the finals, it's actually very hard to see cloaked players. Then if you take a look at all the weapons the light class has to offer, they're almost all best used in close range battles. And having the cloaking device as your specialization allows you to get up really close up to the enemies without them seeing you. And getting close with these weapons helps you put out a lot more damage. I also love the cloaking device for scouting enemies for your team. As before pushing a team, you want to know where they are positioned so you can put yourself in the best spot possible. The cloaking device allows you to investigate your enemies without them seeing you. And then if you are a team player, you can relay this information to your teammate. Then the other specialization I would recommend is the evasive dash. Now for 95% of the player base, I would say just stick with the cloaking device. But if you have exceptional movement and solid aim to back it up, then the evasive dash might be a good pick for you. But the key is, you have to have some high level movement. Otherwise, your 150 health points will get drained very quickly. The idea is that you want to be dashing back and forth so enemies blow through all their ammo trying to shoot you, then you can easily take them out when they're stuck reloading. The other benefit to the evasive dash, similar to the cloaking device, is that it allows you to get up close to your enemy to deal burst damage. You can quickly dash right up to your enemy with a shotgun, a melee weapon, or an SMG and quickly eliminate them before they realize what happened. But this is where good aim is essential. If you miss these important shots after dashing into an enemy, it will most likely turn you into a trophy. Especially with heavy players being as strong as they are, one well-placed RPG rocket can take you out if you aren't being careful. Now the grappling hook does have some utility. And having the ability to quickly dash by using the grapple hop trick is nice, but it just isn't as beneficial as the other specializations. And honestly, at this point, if you're choosing the grappling hook, just switch to medium and use a jump pad. You will have 100 more health points and you can use literal wall hacks on top of it. Then for your weapon, the go-to for most players in high ranks is the XP-54. It is a super easy to use SMG as the recoil pattern is straight up to the right and it has a scope on it making it much easier to land your shot. Now the other SMG option that you could use is the M11. In theory, this weapon is very good as it can deal a lot of damage fast and it has 10 more bullets in a clip than the XP-54 and its reload speed is much faster but it is simply way harder to use. First off, it has less range, you have to get up really close to your enemy. Then the iron sights and the shake makes it really hard to see what you're shooting at. And the recoil pattern zips back and forth, making it difficult to control. So if you do want to use an SMG, just stick with the XP-54. Then the other weapon I would recommend for the light class is the SH-1900, the double-barreled shotgun. You can two-tap any player in the game, including heavies. And in combination with a cloaking device or evasive dash, you can get up right next to your enemies and basically insta-kill them. The one thing you do have to keep in mind is that as soon as you shoot your two shots, you need to get out of there as soon as possible and change position. If you stick around just a little bit too long, you will be an easy elimination. Now the other weapons are certainly fun to use, but they have no meaningful place in a competitive setting right now. For the gadgets, one that I highly suggest using is the glitch grenade. One of the most OP things in the game right now are shields and heals. One glitch grenade is able to completely deny the other team's abilities, making them sitting ducks for your teammates to capitalize on. I also recommend using the stun gun, as it makes whoever you stun an easy target as they can barely move, can't interact with anything, can't use abilities, and they can't even aim down sight. Now for the last gadget, I would either suggest running a breach charge, you can destroy walls and create new openings to use, gas grenades to block off an area of the map, and make it difficult for the enemies to steal the cash out. Or I would use the pyro grenade as it takes away gas. And the gas grenades are a huge counter to the light build, so being able to take it away with the pyro grenades is a huge plus. Now onto the medium build. For specializations, the best pick hands down is the healing gun. It allows you to keep your team alive. And in combination with the shields from the heavy class, it is very hard for enemies to eliminate you. It also cancels out gas damage. So if you are healing your teammates, they can still steal a cash out that is covered in gas. Now the other best specialization is recon senses. It is literally wall hacks. And as long as there isn't fog, you can see the enemies across the entire map. Recon senses allows you to get a lot of free and easy eliminations as you can always pre-aim wherever the enemies are going to be. And if you communicate with your team, recon senses is incredibly strong as you can see where each team is going. So you know exactly which cash out to steal or which vault you should be going to. Then whenever a team respawns, you can quickly activate recon senses to see which direction they are so your team can set up accordingly. For weapons, there's only really two options I would focus on. The AKM and the F-Car. If you look at the F-Car, it has an easy recoil pattern to master and good optics to see where you're shooting. It also deals a ton of damage, but of course, it has a very small magazine. You only have 20 bullets before you have to reload. So if you are confident in your aim and can hit consistent headshots, the F-Car is really good. Otherwise, I would suggest the AKM. The AKM has a mag 
size of 36, almost double that of the F car. The recoil and the iron sights are certainly harder to use than the F car. With a few minutes in the practice range, you shouldn't have any real trouble with it. Now, one of the big benefits of running the AKM over the F car is the damage you can do to shields. You can quickly dump one mag into a heavy player's mesh shield and completely destroy it. Then as you're reloading, your team can deal the follow-up damage for you. Or if you have two AKMs on your team, there's a ton of firepower the enemies have to walk into. So both assault rifles are great. You should try them both out to see which works better for your playstyle. For gadgets, there is a clear meta. Always be using the defibrillator. Having the capability to revive a teammate in the heat of a battle is so incredibly strong. And if you aren't already using it, you need to start using it now. Now do keep in mind that defib provides enemies with around half of their total health. I believe it is 40%, so if you have a heal beam, you should be using it on them right away. The other gadget I would use 100% of the time is the jump pad. It allows you to quickly get up to high ground when necessary. Then if you put it at an angle, you can quickly bounce towards or away from enemies. Also, you can't forget that heavy players don't have much mobility at all, so you need to be using the jump pad to help enable them to get around the map. You can also place a jump pad right under a cash out to make it bounce, and enemies will have a very hard time stealing it. There are just so many uses for the jump pad, that's why I recommend always having it in your loadout. Then for the last gadget, you have a few different options depending on your playstyle. An easy pick is the explosive mine. You can place them on the cash out in doorways or on the enemy trophies to deny the revive. Then there is also the APS turret that can help you defend an objective by destroying any incoming projectiles. There's also the zip line that allows you to get around the map quickly. Then the gadget that I run most often is the gas grenade. It allows me to force enemies out of a position and you have more control over the gas grenades than you do with the gas mine. The gas also goes through walls and floors making it very hard for enemies to see it coming. And it gives you hit markers whenever you're dealing damage to an enemy, which helps give you a rough idea of where they're playing. Then we have the heavy build. For the specialization, most of the time you should be using the mesh shield. It blocks incoming damage and with medium players behind you, the enemies will have a lot of difficulty trying to take you out. The goo gun and the charge and slam both have their moment, but the mesh shield is almost always a better pick. For the weapons, you have two options that are very powerful. Firstly, there is the SA-1216, an automatic shotgun that I believe has the highest damage per second of any weapon in the game. Heavy with an auto shot in close range fights is almost impossible to outgun. Then when you also have a medium player healing him at the same time, he is even stronger. When you use the shotgun with the mesh shield, it allows you to deny damage from range, but then when they get up close, they get deleted by the high DPS. The other great pick is the Lewis gun. It has consistent damage with an easy to control recoil pattern. Then it also has a mag size of 47, so you can keep shooting for quite a while. You can never go wrong defaulting to the Lewis gun when you aren't sure what you should be using. The first gadget I always recommend using as a heavy player is the RPG. It's a good way to get some quick damage on your enemies, and it is the perfect counter to any light players running around. The next gadget I always use is the C4. That's because it allows you to do the most overpowered trick in the game. By attaching the C4s to explosives, then throwing and exploding them in enemy faces. It will literally one-shot heavies if it is close enough. I believe it does around four to 500 damage if placed perfectly. And considering heavy players have 350 health, it is a lot of damage. Hopefully this tech will be nerfed soon, but as of now, it is extremely strong and you should be abusing it to win your game. The other gadget I always use is the dome shield. It allows you and your team to shoot through it. However, the enemies can't shoot through it. It's perfect for clutching up a few kills without taking damage or to force enemies to get up close to you. And then when the closer, you can either use your shotgun, your sledgehammer, or an RPG to quickly eliminate them. It might seem a bit overkill to run the mesh shield and the dome shield at the same time, but overkill is exactly what you want. Overkill is what makes it so difficult for enemies to defeat you. Now you need to be using these loadouts if you want to be winning consistently. But there is a lot more to the game, which is why you need to watch this video up on your screen now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.